All right, round two, day two, here we go. Still hot as hell, heat wave down here in uh, Southern California, and um, I hope it's not as hot, and I hope we see good bucks today. So, hope you guys are getting after it as well. See you in the field. <laughs> spot and your weather update is right now high of 94 low of 74 humidity is 83 percent the illumination is about 23 percent looks like we got clear skies those chance of rain is 60 percent until uh 6 a.m currently 5 40 car is telling me it's 81 degrees and it is muggy out that's sad you guys like that should we keep doing that um sunrise is at 6 15 sunset at 1936 only going to be here till probably about 9 9 30 got to give the wife and baby some time because i'm coming out tomorrow again this is day two of california deer season let's get after it the benefits of being a hunter man i swear It's like the best time to kill something, in my opinion, because you're not as noisy. It's a nice soft crunch. If I was like going through a field of Doritos. Alright, so that, this is a buck. I can't identify what it is. He's, he's like even with the ears. It's 6 14, 10 minutes before sunrise. Focus. This focus is killing me. He's super cautious, though. So confirmed, total three by three, for sure. Like, good looking three by three. He's uh, two reaches over. So I'd have to go down, pop back up, and relocate. And I don't have my wind checker, so I really don't know like which way the wind's going. Um, I'll keep y'all posted. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth going after because I've seen bigger in this area, but I'm not I'm worried, really working on not being greedy. So we'll see. All right, I think this dude is a little older than what I originally thought. He's being super cautious. His belly dips just a little bit, so my assumption is probably like four years old. Three to four years old. All right, 644, 81 degrees. That buck uh, dropped over <clears throat> the ridge, so I lost him, but there's a road running right alongside where it looks like he's going. So I got him pinned uh, pretty accurate to where I believe he is based on the uh, maps, and uh, we're gonna go close the distance. And <laughs> open a weekend buck, maybe. <clears throat> I wanna get a better look before I decide. It looked like his front little, uh, his front antlers, G2s I think they're called. I'm not good at that stuff. His G2s are pretty short. 
but uh, I could be wrong. The G2s were high, and but uh, it looked like he was uh, like kind of nubs, but we're going after him. We're gonna go get a closer look, and uh, hopefully you guys could see him too. Oh, and as I do this, there's a doe right here in the valley. Go figure. Little Forky right here is rutting that doe. Dude, it could literally, he'd literally be smoked right now if I got out this car. Healthy too. They don't know it's hunting season. September 4th. Alright, nothing yet. I got a, I found two toes and something's crashing below me. But from where I dropped the bin, look on it. That's a toe. And there's another forky chase in this toe. So there was another forky. So there were two forkies. They got into it and then uh, they were chasing the doe. So that's a lot. Um, I'm starting to question where I dropped my pen because I feel like I should be able to see this guy. So, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm back in the uh, original spot, and uh, now I could one th tr trillion percent uh, confirm that I was on the wrong ridge. I, I dropped my pin on the complete, not even close ridge. And looking at it now, it's like so obvious. I don't know what I was doing in the morning. I don't know. I have no idea what I was thinking. It's pretty frustrating, honestly, because like, he was good. He was easy to relocate. It's just I just went the complete opposite direction. Um, so here we are, class him. Got about an hour left before I got to go home, so hopefully we turn something up. Fudging getting me, dude. I literally put my bow in my back for my truck in a fucking day. I'm putting it in my freaking back seat. If that thing was in the back seat, I would smoke that dude. It was 38 yards. I'm so mad right now. I'm 90% sure that was that. Uh, three by three is from this morning. So I drove around to see if I could catch him at the top. the moment I can't turn them up um, I'm beyond uh, upset with myself because I think I said it I've been keeping my bow in my back seat so when I moved the last time I moved I put it in my trunk thinking if I see anything you know I'll have time to get it out And you know, here comes this absolute freaking dark horn stud. 35 yards. And I was slowly trying to uh, get my bow out of my trunk. 
without opening trunk my trunk because it makes a beep when I open it. So I uh, dropped the back seat and was going for it that way while this guy was looking at me. So I was trying to be just, you know, slow, as slow as possible while I was doing it so I didn't like spook him too much. Um, he was all about that dough. His lip was curling. And I was just I was trying to get a range on him, but I was shaking so much. Um, yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very disappointed in myself right now. Very, very, very disappointed. Just because I was doing one thing all day in the last spot. The last spot I go to. I decide not to do it. And it's the deer I saw from this morning. 90, 90, 95% sure it's the same book. It's hunting, right? Alright, at the moment we're done, y'all. Don't want to, uh, I want to piss the wife off. Don't mind the hair either. I'm pretty, uh, pretty upset still, so. Uh, probably not coming out tonight, but I'm gonna go hard as I can tomorrow for the full day. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Sorry. Sorry, sorry for that ending. It's pretty bad. But uh, see you guys next time.